I love how you come in just at the end with the balls. That is like perfect. Perfect. Well, welcome people back to another episode of the Kilted Balls podcast. Lots of news, lots of stuff to share today. Yes. Um, the one of the interesting things we have to share is uh, we have started because of our huge success um, last week. We started. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just made him choke. Um, we started posting in our Discord channel all the trades we're making. So every time we make a trade, we post what we're buying and what we're not. Now, that is a private channel. Um, mm -hmm. But eventually, I think we're going to let listeners and users start to do this. In fact, I actually thought Kilted of tying that <clears throat> to our um, <throat> NFTs. So we have Kilted mm. Balls NFTs. We, we've we never sold them. We've never put them up for sale. We have yep. um, regular original ones, and we have um, the like 10,000 generated kind. We have NFTs but we've never chosen mm -hmm. to release them. Um, <clears throat> and nobody, I think, even knew about those except for the uh, developers. But, um, you know, it was just never a thing for us, yeah. I don't think, to do it. But we've talked about well, what... tying that utility to it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what are you yeah. saying? I think that would be cool. And, no, I was just going to say, when we first started talking about it, it seemed I mean, we're still early. Don't don't let me confuse anybody. Right, we're still right. all early, but the NFT PFP craze is happening, and it was happening, and there are hundreds slash thousands of of projects coming out every yes. single day. And by time all of our artwork and everything was done, and we felt like it would be closer to time to do it. I mean, there were scams all over the place, and and we decided as a company it just wasn't wasn't a good time, which I no, agree. No, I, it just it, we we're not part of that that mentality, right? That's mm -hmm. not that's not who we are. So anyway, if that's something that you're like, oh my gosh, I really <clears throat> wish I had a kilted balls NFT, um, shoot us a message on the Discord or through Twitter, and you know we'll talk about it. But uh, so the weird part about this, and I feel like it's been a year. I feel like it's been a year, um, but it hasn't. So if you've been listening, which I assume you have, when we exited last episode, um, by the next day, I was up in August 70% on my trades. 70% mm -hmm. people, <clears throat> like it, it was mind boggling. I couldn't lose. I made, what did I make? Like 30 trades on the third. I think mm -hmm. I made 30 trades on the third. I made like $800 on the third alone. I And I only started with $800 in that account, right? So this mm -hmm. is an account for fun. As we always tell people, just play with money you can afford to lose. And I had 850 bucks. I thought, yeah, I'm going to gamble with that. And that day alone, like I was at like 700, it wasn't 800, mm -hmm. it was 700. We were talking about it. We were, and I was talking about getting up to $1,000 and we were so excited. And that night, everything went to shit. Not the market, me. Like, and I, me. Yeah, and you, <laughs> you too. I violated almost every rule I have. So we have a whole list of rules in our heads. Mm -hmm. And I violated like every single one of those rules. I got liquidated. What did I get liquidated? Four times in in less than a day. That that night, I that night, yeah, I got liquidated four times as well. Yeah. Before, well, I went to bed, but it was close. I woke up, it was liquidated, and I was up for another couple hours. Yeah. Just. I, I was up like Facebook. I was. My total account, myself. I think, was like at two grand. I think it was up around two grand which is mm -hmm. not chump change, right? But I had built yep. it all the way up there over the course of a month and a half and literally in those four liquidations wiped out. And you should never get liquidated. One of our things, and you've heard me tease, <laughs> tilted about <laughs> relentlessly is set stop losses. And we we didn't. We got crushed, crushed. It's a hard pill to swallow. Right after we said bots are so <laughs> much safer, mm -hmm. we got crushed. And so we got crushed. I was like up all night staring at the screen saying, don't liquidate me. 
it was it was a rough night a rough night i was super mad the next day super grumpy and Mm -hmm. then you know i dusted myself off i still had one bat left so i it's actually a lie i didn't get completely liquidated i still had like you know a couple hundred bucks and so i'm like okay we're gonna we're gonna start this again Mm -hmm. and i was a little skittish and we started again and son of a bitch i was liquidated again (laughs) <laughs> that's what i was gonna say although i woke up i made a couple good trades so i was like all right this is all right, all right. okay i'm you know i'll get back and, and just like i <laughs> just smack what 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 did they say i got hit by the big flappy dick of life just was like, <laughs> right across the face and yeah. yeah that was so that hit me again and i was like pissed mm-hmm. and so i was pretty much out of the game and i was super grumpy and then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to take it easy. And I, uh, from my looks, and I don't know why I didn't think about this before, I've been gathering wrapped ETH from staking my looks. Yes. And I was sitting there like looking at it. I'm like, oh, wait, wrapped ETH doesn't do a thing. It doesn't gain me interest. It just sits there. Mm-hmm. So I transferred that wrapped ETH into my trading account. And I'm like, okay. I'm going to start again, only I'm going to be smarter and I'm going to set stop losses. And I mm-hmm. wrote down all of my rules and I made a channel in the discord for all the rules. And, you know, we kind of add to it and edit it and yeah. I've been going through it and it's been awful, right? Like I'm still losing. <laughs> and like, <laughs> I think, what? Well, okay. Actually we can see right here. I, I have it right in front of me. So I, uh, oh, that was yesterday. Okay. I only got one stop loss today. I only only one today. Nice I only job. Got, oh wait, I only wrote it down today because I wrote it down <laughs> at six. I wrote it down at six a.m. It happened yesterday, which would have been my third stop loss of the day yesterday. Yeah, yeah it was just like. And if you're like, oh well, don't worry, the market was bad today. No, you don't <laughs> understand. When the market was bad is when we made like a thousand dollars, and even when the market was good, we were making money. That that was what was so exciting and exhilarating. Mm-hmm. We were making tons of money no matter what the market was doing. And now it's gone bad. And let me let me make sure you understand like what I mean about bad. I did one today. I only did like one today, right? Mm-hmm. Like I'm so skittish and anxious. Like my blood pressure goes through the roof <laughs> as soon as I do one. But I did one today and it was up like 29%, the, the crypto, it was TRB. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do TRB today. I'm going to do a stop loss. I'm going to set my stop loss at 50%. I'm going to set my gains at 50% because I'm like, there's no way this thing is going to go up. Yeah, you shorted it. Yeah, I shorted it. I'm like, there's no way it's going to go up that much. And I know for sure it's going to go down eventually, right? So Mm -hmm. crazy, confident, still super anxious, but I'm like, got to get back on the horse. And so I do it and Kilted can tell you, it had a wick not like a candle it had a wick that was 10 percent up like Crazy. somebody bid it up four dollars on a 40 dollar thing and it hit my short it hit my stop loss so my stop loss was hit and i was out of the trade and i'm like there there was no <laughs> way you could call that it was going to do that it was like the stupidest thing and you know, and so now I, mean, I know why it's happening. the The market makers are listening to the show. They, they are hear us to being the show. excited, and they're like, "We need to calm these guys down. If if it get, if it turns into a thing, it could be a movement." Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we <laughs> talked about it last week. We're like, we feel like we're cheating the system because we are basically <laughs> printing money, and the market makers were like, "No, no, 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 no nope. printing money for you guys." So yeah. I'm I'm pissed, and so I went back to just bots. So not not mm-hmm. bots with leverage, not anything. I'm like, I'm just gonna do a bot again. I'm gonna start slow again, uh-huh. put myself back up, and and you know, and I and I'm gonna come full thing. I've been bitching to myself, and Kilton's heard this about Lifer because I'm like, Lifer mm-hmm. is too slow. Like today, he was like, we made twenty percent gains on this. It took us a month. But we made 20% gain. <laughs> I'm like, ha, ha, ha. You made, it took you a month. And now I'm like, okay, I'm good with that. But, if, if it takes me a yeah. month, I'm like, you're, you're making the right call. Which he says, don't do all this leverage stuff. It's too scary. Mm-hmm. Go slow and steady. And so I take it back, Lifer. I take it all back. I take it all back. <laughs> Let me out of <laughs> let me out of the Although, trap. He he did a five X. He did a five X the other night. He like he was that confident that Bitcoin was gonna go up and it did. 
It did. He did a he he because he talked about it the next day. He said I took a five X leverage out. I was so confident. So it was on the as on the Sunday uh weekly candle close, which I wasn't listening Sunday night, but oh, Monday yeah. morning he was talking about it. So it was, that's that's pretty crazy. I mean that's yeah, was, and, uh, and the hard part is that we don't really I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like I'm looking at everything and I'm and I'm watching it and I'm drawing my patterns. But even when you're even all that stuff, even like Lifer says, it's a 68% chance it's gonna do this or yes, that. Yes. Yes. So it's not a hundred percent. There's still the 32% chance it's gonna go the other way, even when everything looks perfect. I mean yes. well, what and was that's the, what's happening. What's happening right yeah. now to me <clears throat> is you're you're right on. It's a probability thing. So when we stopped trading, you and I both had 10 bots running at once. Mm -hmm. So if you're right 70% of the time, now we were right 100%, and you can't be right 100% of the time. That's that's just not yeah. how it works. But we were right 100% of the time, which meant all 10 bots were constantly going. Well, now I'm running one bot, or I'm making mm -hmm. one trade. And so now the odds aren't in my favor. Like you yes. need 10 bots, and if you have 10 bots going, six of those are going to be good. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's what's, you know, really hurting us right now. We're not playing the numbers right. Yes. Yeah, I need to open some more bots. I opened the one up today, and I think it's down like a dollar. Well, and I'm, I'm kind of refusing to put more money in. And it's interesting because I can tell my wife is kind of giving me the side eye because mm – -hmm. I think when she heard me getting so excited about making like a thousand dollars a day, because mm -hmm. for those of you listen, my goal was a hundred and I'm like, that's a dumb goal. I'm going to make it a thousand. And after I made that goal, my next day was 300. The next day was 400. The next day was 700. Mm -hmm. And I think she was like, Holy cow. If you're making a thousand a day, life is good. Right. Mm -hmm. And so then I was like, Nope, I lost. I'm at it. <laughs> she was like, really? Cause <laughs> put more money in and i'm like nope <laughs> two days ago you were fine i well i mean of course it's way well it's hard it, yes a big chunk of its way down but looks was up yesterday because we got stopped out of our of our short yeah so i almost took like the looks that i had earned last month and just cashed it out to right. have some more money to trade with but i ultimately i decided well the penny decided not to so I mean, it's fine. I still have a couple hundred dollars in there, but but losing like the amount of money that I lost in in like twelve hours was was really just it it's, crushes it just your sucks. soul. Yeah, it crushes. I mean, your I'm soul. still like everything's fine. I'm still eating, and but it was just it was just sad. It was just and I was I wasn't grumpy. I I couldn't fall asleep. I was just downstairs, and then yeah. Gina came down, and she's like, "Hey, you know, bye bye." And so we're talking. I'm just like. I'm like, I was just dumb. Like, and we were even talking about it. Like, cause like it looked like it was going to short and it, and, and anyway, it, this might be a little more advanced for some people, but we like to, we like to watch the stochastics RSI. Yeah. So when that's high or low, depending where it is, you, you know, that's what we base a lot of our trades off of. And that's how Lifer teaches. So the 15 minute was high, but it was like running high, like, I don't know how long it was high where it never turned. It just like ran straight across <laughs> like super, super like it should have dropped. And it so we're dropped. like, you know, putting in another 400 bucks, putting in another 400 bucks. Like it's got to eventually turn, you know, so we were chasing, yeah. we were chasing it because we're like, we were so confident. And that's why I think what hurt the most. And like my wife is life and she goes total, you're out like $850. Mm -hmm. whoopee right like yeah. oh no you almost made that in a day so yes. why are you so upset and i'm upset because i was wrong colossally yes. hugely <laughs> wrong and it's shaken my confidence and like people when i talk about like the stupidness let me show you what like happened today i know we talked about it and then we'll be done with this but okay this is the one minute <laughs> this is the one minute <laughs> look at the wick on that one minute, it already went up 5% plus that entire wick. That's like, awesome. It doesn't make any sense. Look, look at this one minute line. Mm -hmm. Look how little it varies. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, weird. What's the odd one out? 
They wanted your money. They wanted your your how, my hundred bucks. My hundred. Uh -huh. Well, actually, I mean, I was worried about that when we got liquidated that first time because now we were putting in big money, not big for some people. But well, for, I mean, and that's the big difference because, like now, like when we open a bot or something, for me, it's going to be like fifty to one hundred dollars. Yeah. Where I was to the point where I was putting in five, four, sometimes three hundred. Yeah. Like it's just a difference, and then when you make a ten percent, it's a it's a bigger number, but. Yeah. Back well, to and, zero, back to zero. Back to zero, and I'm playing with the bots or again, zero, and I'm going to be happy to... with mm -hmm. my 10% bots. And if it takes me a week again to make that, then it takes me a week. And here's the thing I got to keep reminding myself. If I make 10% in a week on a bot, that's better than anybody else is doing with anything they're doing. Yeah. And then I just I mean, there might that. be a small, small, small percentage who's doing better, but any... Yes tradition definitely better than any traditional way better than any traditional one so yeah mm -hmm. so anyway we'll get done with that but yeah the last episode i think we talked about gains upon gains mm -hmm. now it's been losses <laughs> upon losses so, well i have say. some exciting exciting news oh so my gosh I woke please up this share morning, i woke up this morning to an email that my gala music node is now live so nice. I downloaded the stuff. I set up my music. It's not, I'm not able to attach my, my NFTs to it yet, Okay. but I'm started or I forget what it is, but I'm, uh, I, I did what I needed to do today. So it ended at eight, eight o'clock is the reset. So okay. yeah, I already have one day in and I'll keep everyone updated on that. What, is, I know what does I it do? Talk it to, it, talk to us more. What does it do? So I need to understand it a little better. My understanding is that what Gala is trying to do is that rather than having like crappy game music, mm -hmm. they have, there's a way to play your music through Gala games, through Gala music in your game and however like you want to play and listen nice so you can do that now for holding i have the nfts too if you remember when i got the snoop dog drops mm -hmm. so i i don't even remember what songs but it was three songs off his new album and so when those are listened to and i have them on my note as well that's extra bonuses nice. so i'm just excited about that i i've been waiting for it to start and, um, you know, this is kind of the first step where it's it's plugged in and it's running to go. And I guess if I, uh, you know, my computer's on six hours a day, I hit I hit my my goal for the day. I'm just mm -hmm. you know, I just have it. My computer's always on anyway. So I just have it running in the background. Right. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. That is crazy. Awesome. I think I think mm -hmm. that's crazy. Awesome. So so eventually mm -hmm. this will give money, right? It does. It gives, and I forget the coin they named yeah. it something, but it's a coin in the gala, in the gala universe. I don't right. think it's been distributed yet, or at least my, not for mine, because it just ended. You know, it's it's eight thirteen now, right? So it would have just ended. Even with Town Star, it's like the next day we get we get paid out. No, nope, so yeah, awesome. just cool. I mean, you know, we we like gala a lot. They do a lot we of do. really cool stuff. So that is exciting. I um, just tried to buy gala and couldn't for my bots, yes. which maybe I should but go also, and buy it on normal trade. Actually. Someone else we talk about a lot has some exciting news this week too. Yeah. So um, what we have talked about personally is that one of our NFT projects, the very first one I bought. So bonus trivia points, if you can remember which one it was, mm -hmm. don't worry, we'll tell you in a second. But uh, <laughs> people were talking about how it was like a laughing, like a joke. It became a meme almost mm -hmm. for the NFT world. And I've always been like, no, it's for me, it's always been profitable. Like it's never been less than what I paid. It was the first one I bought. Mm -hmm. I didn't mint it, bought it off a of secondary and it's always been good. And it's always intrigued me. And today that group um, started releasing information and the price has gone up. So we are talking about the super yetis mm -hmm. and they've done a bomb game and they're doing a land giveaway. If you have the Yeti and the snow demon, the snow demon was a free drop. And the last time I looked, it was trading for 0.2 Ethereum. Mm -hmm. um, so I could be trading that in if I wanted. I'm not going to. And the yeah. Yetis, I think, are going for 0.12 right now. And I paid 0.03 for mine. So it's a 4x right now and an infinite x. Um, but I'm going to keep them because I want the land. And, you yeah. know, 
we'll we'll see how that goes and the land has extra utility but the yetis and they said they have another announcement coming out tomorrow so yeah. they're still doing stuff they're still active and they're influencing the floor and the reason i know the floor was up is because i went to buy more on the floor so people are yeah. getting excited and doing the same thing and it's going mm-hmm. up so yeah super yetis rocking and yeah rolling. that's super awesome oh my gosh it's so good i'm so excited for them and i'm excited for us um the funny part is, is i bought one of those yetis to sell to pay for the other yeti uh-huh and I've never sold it and I'm still not planning on it. So <laughs> again, the whole NFT idea of buying it and selling it, I'm just not I'm not good at that. So Yeah. I have seven snow demons. I couldn't wow. remember how many I had. I was just I was just looking. So yeah. That's a ton. So one of those would pay for a whole bunch of your yetis. But remember a couple months ago. When when a whale came in and bought like one of the top yetis. Yes, yes. I and then I ended whale. up buying a bunch of more stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> they called me a whale because they I called you a whale. <laughs> they I spent one ETH on a. I think it was an ETH. I forget. But yeah, yeah, I bought one of the super super rare ones. Well, and but now yeah, you're gonna I, get some land out of it. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. That's a project that that I've always thought was cool. I it, it always makes me smile. I have I have. A lot of my early NFTs I put on, if if any of our early listeners would know, but I printed them out on mixed tiles. Yeah. So I have them around the warehouse. So I see some of those and it just, you know, it makes me happy. Like just to see, like the journey. Well, and the other thing that's nice about the Yetis, they've done two things that are good for us. Mm-hmm. We're not taking advantage of either of them. Nope. But one of them is they gave you IP rights. So Again, now you can do whatever you want with your character, which is kind of legit and sweet. And the other thing that they've done recently is they've lowered their royalties from 10% to 5%. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah. So that means more money in our pocket if we chose to sell them, which we're not planning on selling them. But if we did, you know, we have that opportunity as well. So so, but yeah. it is cool to see to see a project going up right now because as I mean I don't know if we were going to talk about this but but quickly today we had a, a little conversation with a friend on Discord yes. who was asking our opinions on on Gary V and V friends so you know which is the floor is not going up right now and no a lot it's of at like six right yeah. six point five mm-hmm. so if you're interested but, in getting in V friends and you had six Ethereum laying around. You could probably get into V friends. Um, mm-hmm. you know how many bats are for sale right now? Two. Zero. See. Because I was like, mm-hmm. ooh, six and eat the seventeen hundred. I'm gonna look at those. Mm-hmm. And nope, not a one. Yeah. Did you see my response? Yes, I thought it was perfect. <laughs> I thought it was perfect. <clears throat> it's true. I'm, I mean, I'm all in on Gary. Yeah, but and I don't think not that's bad. I think. Mm-hmm. Like when they're talking about the floor dropping, it is. And the, there's not mm-hmm. a lot of movement because everybody's dealing with the cards. Like there's always yeah. something else. Oh, I forgot to. With. So I don't have all my packs open yet. Okay. But I do have a rare empathy elephant. Wow. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, no, not, I lie. I ha- It's a core empathy elephant. I have a rare um, patient panda. Nice. Still nice. And a rare patient pig. Okay. And a rare, very, very unlucky black cat. That's like everybody's so, favorite. Yeah, so those are awesome. I think I have four boxes to open still, but I was ex- I was super excited to see those. I mean, those are ones that I didn't buy, and uh, those are ones that were actually more expensive to buy at first because people, people wanted them, so they were buying yeah. them not at the floor with the Dutch auction. So, but speaking of Gary, another thing, I don't know. Do you, I don't, do you listen to props and drops when he's on I've, there? With I've Kalish? always wanted to, but I've never um done it. <laughs> I, I love the episodes are super, super good. I enjoy them. Um, But the draft Kings, which is Matt Kalish's project, I guess you mm-hmm. could say, but anyways, you know, there, there are a lot of online betting and stuff. And, you know, obviously he's deep into NFTs, but they're doing a fantasy football NFT game this year. Oh. Uh, DraftKings is. 
So they're trying to do it where people don't really realize that they have NFTs, but they do. Mm -hmm. um, it's all it's all the um, NFL Players Association partner, but not with the NFL. So it doesn't have the team names on it, but all right. the players are on them. And there's going to be a way to do, you know, depending on what cards you have, there's from core all the way up to, you know, like the one right. of ones. But uh, yeah, where you can play fantasy football that way with your NFTs. So I heard it and I was I was debating on maybe putting a little money in. Like I looked at my DraftKing account and I had a couple hundred dollars in there. So I bought a couple. And then I bought like one of the really good packs. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess I'm going to be playing this year, and I'll, I'll keep everybody awesome. updated. So yeah, it, it should it should be actually. I just opened a pack before we got on. I pulled a uh, Travis Kelsey, so nice. that was pretty cool. That's so, awesome. And can you give us a little bit of update on your fish? Yeah. Oh, I did. So if anyone missed my Facebook post, I guess I did on Insta too, if you follow me personally, but uh, this weekend I was, I, what, I've i been talking about getting some angelfish because I, I do know that like the a breeding pair and they're fairly easy to breed from, from what I've heard online and stuff and, and, you know, just the videos I've watched and stuff. And, and a lot of people really like the angelfish, freshwater angelfish. Yes. Yes. And, um, yeah, I was trying. I was eating breakfast, and I was trying to look on Craigslist because I'll, I'll check that out for like used tanks and stuff. And I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember where to look, and it'd been a while since I've been on there, so I didn't. And I went and did something else, and I came back a couple hours later, and I was looking on there, and a guy was getting rid of, of a breeding pair, some babies, and four tanks, for I think I think it was two hundred and forty dollars or two hundred nice. something. Yeah, I was just like, and it was posted 38 minutes before I saw it. So it worked out. I got a hold of them, went over there, have the breeding, the breeding pair. So I've had them. Uh, yep, they're both doing great. I have them up here. Um, they actually had their eggs hatched that morning. So oh, there wow. are a bunch of fry. I mean, and angelfish fry are tiny, like pinhead size. Okay. So. There's, uh, I counted about 30 of them in there. And like, even this morning they were still doing well. And then I got like another, another 30 that were between nickel and quarter sized that were, okay. that were babies that he had had that he just gave to us. And then, um, and then some, some mollies, which we're going to, which we're going to put at the warehouse and breed those as well. So yeah, added over a hundred fish and it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. It's really exciting. That's super exciting. Yay. So one step closer to becoming a fresh breeder wholesaler, right? Yes. Although I did, I finally got an email if anyone's following along at home. Um, I don't have a job yet. I was, uh, the guy said, I just, I feel I should be honest for you. He's like, I love, you know, I love talking to you when you come in and this and that. And he's like, I feel that you're super overqualified. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, so I wrote him back. I was just like, yeah, I mean, it's like, I guess I've been, I don't deal with the general public and, and I didn't do much hiring, you know, in my business, right, right. but I'm like, I'm like, I, I kind of see where you're coming from, but for me, I'm, I'm going to be the, oh, cause he's like, I don't, I don't, I feel bad asking you to mop the floors and, and clean fish tanks. I'm like, what else would I do? Like when I come in there, I'm the new guy. I'm not like, oh, I've got some business. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrub the toilets and, and scrub the floors, <laughs> like, yep. and I'm yep. gonna learn. So, I, I actually meant to go by there today and talk to him, you know, just to say hi, because I usually yeah. go in there Tuesdays or Wednesdays. But uh, we ended up going to a different fish store. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't know if I need, just need to get better at trading. I think that's really what's happening. So trading? I don't need to. I don't need to fill my time. Right. Working right. At just a fish get store. Better at trading, and, <laughs> you know, we'll fill our time with that. Uh -huh. so, but it, I do love the fish; it's super fun. We're we're having a great time with it. And actually, I added a, a urchin today, and uh, um, so yeah, it's it's getting ready to go in the saltwater tank. That is awesome. And to tag on interesting things that we're doing, by the way, um, I had forgotten about this, but I have an old Bitcoin miner from one of my classes, mm -hmm. and uh. 
I ordered the, all the stuff, not all the stuff, but a good amount of stuff to uh, try to make it liquid cooled. That's going to be exciting. I can't wait so, to, you know, for, for you to work on that a little bit more yeah, and to hear more. I'm going to try to boot it up. Um, as soon as I get the wiring for it, I'll try to wire it and get it booted up. And once I get it running and know that it'll work, mm -hmm. then I will work on the conversion to making it um, liquid cooled. And then we'll work uh, out a spot to put the heat from it because mm -hmm. you're still going to get heat. My goal is to run it kind of through a radiator that heats, wait for it, fish ponds. That's awesome. Right? So that you can mm -hmm. grow some fish that maybe want it a little bit warmer. I don't know. That maybe some like tilapia. Maybe you need a tilapia farm. There you go. <laughs> then you can you can actually eat your fish, which I will not be doing. Fish. Then you could eat them. So, so and, wait be yeah. before be, be, re, real quick because you did you did drop a hint that there is there is some there is oh there was a giant hint today with the super yetis. Yeah. There was another hint that I was not actually planning to say, but one of our favorite movies. When we were younger, and I was singing the jingle song from it when we started the today's show. Nice. I don't know if you caught it. I did I not because I was singing it. the jingle. <laughs> You're so, singing your own jingle. I was singing my own jingle. I, I was singing you. another, but there were no whip sounds, so you might not have <laughs> caught it. The whip in the background. So that but is yes. awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. This is uh, another episode of the Kilted Balls podcast. Feel free to follow us on Twitter or TikTok or YouTube minis. And if you're interested in hearing more about our trades, uh, join our Discord. We'll try to give you some links. So otherwise, you have a great night. And this is Ballbuster signing off. Kilted Dragon Jerry, I love you all.